Hello students, welcome to Statics. I'm Dr. Stewart and today we're gonna to do an example for the moment of inertia. This is example 10.2 coming from Hibbler's Statics book where we're asked to find the area moment of inertia about the X axes. And we're given the area shown where we have our x-axis, we have our y-axis. The area is defined by a line. y squared is equal to 400 times x. And we're also given a differential area that we should use where dA, the differential area, is equal to 100 minus x times dy. Other information that we have include the dimensions of this area its base and its height. So let's remember that when we want to find the area moment of inertia, that it is defined as the integral of y squared times dA. And that means the area moment of inertia with respect to the x-axis. So let's go ahead and replace dy in that equation with the dy that we're given. If we look in the integral that we have, we have y and we have, have x being integrated over dy. That's not going to work. We can't integrate in terms of two terms, so we need to replace the x in this equation and, and uh, rewrite it in terms of y. Luckily, we're given the equation for the area, which is y squared is equal to 400 times x. So we're going to rearrange that and solve in terms of x. So now x is equal to y squared divided by 400. We'll then plug this in to our equation, and then we can start to perform the integration. Now we're going to do definite integration here. So we're going to integrate over the, uh, uh, the y uh, height of our um, area, so from 0 to 200. And then we're going to break this out into two pieces, the first term minus the second term, and then integrate. When we plug this in our calculators, we solve for this integral, we'll find that the area moment of inertia about the x-axis is equal to 107 times 10 to the 6 meters to the power 4. So we've solved this problem. Starting from the top, the whole process, the real challenge in finding the area moment of inertia is defining what dA is, getting our integral all in terms of one variable, either x or y, and then performing the integration. So that's the end of this example. Make sure to hit that subscribe button and the bell to get the new example videos, and I'll see you in the next one.